Oh, over there. That's a hard one. Go wide. Get the spray. What? Who gave the shotgun? What? That was too sh- I know what you're thinking. Didn't Gumi already cover this gun? Yeah, I did. In fact, I did twice so far. The first time, I gave it less than a favorable review because, to be honest, I thought it was too hard to use for most situations, and then I wasn't really as strong as other slug shotguns, but then I made a second video, and my opinions changed, and it went to be one of the best slug shotguns in Warzone, with some serious potential, albeit a bit challenging to use and get right. And today, you bet your ass I'm revisiting it. After a while of doing basically just Vanguard weapon coverage, I'm a little burnt out on it. I want to see something else. I want to see some Modern Warfare, some Cold War. So I wanted to step back and check out a gun or two from back in the day. When I was looking at guns to try, I wanted to cover one that people needed to know or be reminded about. Then I had this sudden urge to revisit the Jack-12, but with slugs in particular. If you know me, you know that I don't really like semi-auto slash full-auto shotguns typically. A lot of times I just don't enjoy them as much as a good pump action, but slugs changed the game for me. So I booted up Rebirth to get some fun clips, and man, I had a blast using this gun. In this video, I won't go super in-depth with stats because I already made a video on all that, so I'll link to that in the description, but I do want to briefly go over it again and talk it up because, guys, to be honest, this just might be the strongest shotgun in the game currently, and I stand by that because the power this thing has, it, it just keeps blowing my mind. I know there are probably some new viewers out here from Vanguard who just don't know much about the shotguns in general, so I'm going to help you out. Again, to be clear, I'm talking slugs here, the 8-round slug magazine, not the base shotgun with spread and pellets. So let's talk about what is probably the strongest shotgun in Warzone right now with an insanely stupid time to kill, the Jack-12 with slugs. If you haven't seen my slug videos, which I tend to cover a lot, they basically turn your shotgun into more of a quote-unquote rifle, where it shoots one solid projectile instead of a bunch of small pellets. With it, you get some insane power because slugs are just a huge chunk of lead and they really, really do some damage. To give you a brief overview with this gun, here is a neat little picture that I made just for this occasion to give you a quick recap of the power of it. As you can see, this thing has an insane amount of damage potential per shot, and if you notice, the power of it extends to 17 and a half meters, because as long as you hit chest or higher, you will be able to two-shot a fully armored player with this gun. That is some insane power for a shotgun, and that leads to some insane possibilities for outplaying people on Rebirth. The Jack-12 is a fire rate of about 300 rounds per minute, so when that transfers to time to kill, you get some absolutely insane inhuman values, specifically for the two and three shot kills. If you can manage that two shot kill, basically means hitting one headshot and a torso shot up to 17 meters, just don't hit legs, then you have a time to kill of 200 milliseconds. That is almost three times faster than some of the guns, and about twice as fast as most SMGs in this game, with more to spare. And three shots, which is more likely to happen, is still amazing at 400 milliseconds. That is top tier. That is just insane. This thing is just a monster, and I cannot understate just how strong its potential can be. Every time I played Rebirth, I felt like at least one death comp was always like, did he just two-shot me or just downright confused by how fast they were killed past 10 meters with a shotgun? They know it's the Jack-12. People know now what it sounds like and what it looks like, and man, they just get blown away. So yeah, like I said, absolutely disgusting potential for this gun. Now, if you've never seen what this gun can do, you might be thinking, well, that's just downright overpowered, or, oh great, another shotgun meta that's going to be cancer to deal with. Well, Heads up, this has been around for at least a year, and it's been talked about before, so what's the big deal? Why isn't this a gun you see used often? Well, one of the biggest issues this gun has, as you know with slugs, is ease of use. Slugs are not easy to use. They basically turn a shotgun into its own sort of weapon category that's sort of a hybrid with a shotgun, and kind of a marksman rifle to be honest. And when you have a niche gun like a shotgun with less than a 0.1% pick rate, and with a niche attachment that most people probably don't know about, 
it's probably going to get avoided even more. In fact, I'd be willing to argue that slugs are harder to use than most guns in Warzone because they have a bunch of weird quirks that most people aren't used to. For one, muzzle velocity, the time it takes for your bullet to hit the target essentially, is really slow. Slugs are heavy and they don't really fly fast at all in these games. A standard AR like the XM4 is able to land a shot at about 100 meters, at least two times faster than a slug at that same distance. This makes using slugs at even closer ranges like 30 meters a little bit more difficult because you do have to kind of lead your shot just a slight bit. On top of that, slugs have a steep bullet drop, so it basically turns into kind of like a grenade launcher trajectory at distances, but that's more past like 80 meters, so it's not really too bad since I don't recommend using it at ranges like that. And the next big issue these things have is Bloom. If you remember Bloom, oh boy, when the Vanguard guns were introduced, Bloom was a big hot topic. And yes, it's still a thing, and it always has been for slugs in particular in Warzone since before Vanguard and even Cold War. But slugs are notoriously inaccurate, and even though most guns have a very slight bit of bloom sort of effect where your bullet doesn't always go 100% where your reticle is, slugs are much worse. They can make that gun feel very off. So attachments that help spread are generally pretty nice. If you're talking the Vanguard shotguns, look for accuracy, right? That's the stat you want to focus on. But for Modern Warfare guns that have slugs, it's pretty much just going to be a tighter pellet spread. And barrels too, since they often increase your pellet tightness as well. Oh yeah, did I mention that it makes aiming down sights essential for this gun? Aiming down sights with the shotgun, I know, who does that? But you have to. If you want to make these things work, hit firing a slug is only viable at basically point blank distances. So get ready to aim down sights like crazy if you want to use these things. I swear to God, it's going to work a lot better than if you just try to hit fire. So what is the best overall class for that, right? What is the best overall slug class for the Jack-12? There's a bunch of different ways you can go. But for this particular class that I'm going to show you, I'm going to go into detail with it and talk about why I choose what I choose because I think this was an overall balanced class for most people who haven't really used it or who know how to use it well. This is sort of covering all your bases, so let's get into it. The first big attachment I recommend is the Forge Tack Marauder because all the shotguns that have it on these Modern Warfare shotguns, it gives you the best boost to range in class out of all these attachments, even the big barrels. The guns that have this get the most benefit from the Marauder, but it does hurt your movement speed and it does hurt your aim down sight speed by quite a bit so be warned you're going to be a little bit more sluggish than normal but it does also help with your muzzle velocity the only attachment to help with that on these shotguns so it's pretty much an invaluable asset to any slug shotgun class for the guns that have it not all of them do next we have the five milliwatt laser now this one you could run the attack laser aiming down sights is essential but this is the only attachment i have to help boost my sprint to fire speed which since this is still pretty much a close quarters weapon or maybe medium range this is still pretty much an invaluable attachment, but you can swap it out for attack laser. I'm not going to say one is better than the other. For my personal play style, I always prefer a 5 milliwatt laser, even though we don't really hit fire as much, but it also does help with that in case you're in a panic. For the next one, the stock attachment, this one I altered a little bit because before I would just have something for aim down side speed, but now I use the Jackrabbit Ultralight for aim walking movement speed because I noticed with the Marauder, you're really, really hurting yourself when it comes to strafe speed, and that was getting me killed a lot in gunfights, and having just this stock takes it up just a little bit. It kind of offsets the Marauder's slow speed for uh, aim down sights walking speed. So this really helps. I really recommend giving it a try if you've never used it. Then, of course, the A-Round Slug Mags, and for the last one, I usually use the Merc Foregrip. Why? Well, the Jack-12 does have a little bit of recoil. When you're actually having to aim down sights, this shotgun does have a little bit of kick, both visual and actual recoil. And so this one helps with that just a little bit, but it also gives you some aim down sight speed. So it's sort of another invaluable attachment, right? You could go with another grip if you wanted, but I just prefer this one the most because it gives you two great perks, and you just lose some movement speed, so it's not that big of a deal. But overall, that is the main class that I think a lot of people could do some damage with. The reason I'm even making this video is because I want to go back and revisit some other guns that I haven't touched in a while and this one is just it's insane. It really really is insane. If you haven't heard of this gun with this attachment the slug rounds or if you haven't tried it now is the time like really I saw a video get posted about it actually the other day and I was still making this one and I was like, wow, okay, I guess people are starting to catch on to it again. So now is your chance. Get in there. Use this thing. Do I think it's overpowered? Absolutely not. Yes, it's insanely broken in some ways with the time to kill, but it balances out the same way a sniper rifle does, right? One shot to the head at up to 50 meters or whatever. Yeah, it might sound overpowered, but you have to aim really well at a distance. So it's one of those things where it kind of balances out. With all the downside slugs have, this is definitely not really super overpowered, right? The range is great, but it's only got eight rounds. 
crazy muzzle velocity that's really slow. It's got some aim down sights bloom. You have to aim down sights all the time. There's just a lot of quirks to it. So with that being said, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Are you happy I'm revisiting some older guns? Is there another gun you want me to check out that I haven't touched in a while? With all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.